talking about. Meanwhile, speaking of momentum, this guy gave the Nets a lot of momentum. The return of the night, Kyrie back. Nets visiting the Pacers, his first time back in eight months. Nets trailed as many by 19 in this one, but late in the third, Durant to Irving. The shot off the glass. Final seconds of the quarter, Nets down nine. Irving drills the jumper as time expires. Nets down seven, heading into the fourth. Six to go in the fourth. Nets lead. Nance Stevenson, he throws it away. Irving gets it. And this is what he does best. Run the floor, hit the free throw line jumper. Nets extend their lead to five. Under four minutes to go. Nets up by five. Sabonis loses the ball. KD picks it up. It gets to Irving. Drive. Tough layup. 22 points, four assists, three rebounds in 32 minutes. Starting off with a bang. Nets beat the Pacers by eight. Let us bring in Big Perk now to talk a little mm -hmm. bit about Kyrie and this first game back. I just want to get your reaction because there was some thought that he would have some rust. He didn't show that last night. Well, them thoughts weren't coming from me, Ryan. Let me tell you three things about Kyrie Irving, okay? He's a hooper, number one. Number two, he's a hooper. Number three, he's a hooper. Listen, <laughs> when you have a guy like Kyrie Irving, he's different from everybody else. I don't care if it's eight months, a year and a half, this guy just gets buckets. This is what he do. And yesterday I told the world that I'd rather have Kyrie Irving part-time than no time. You know why? Because when you have a superstar, talented guy like Kyrie Irving and you're on the road and you're in the playoffs, you're able to overcome being down 15 to 18 points because you have that other killer. And did you see the joy? on the Nets' faces, not only Steve Nash, but Kevin Durant, because he know he has that other guy that he could trust, that if they get down, he could take over the game at any given time. Kyrie Irving is just that special of a talent. No one ever questioned what he brings on the basketball court, and we see why the Nets are invested in, into him, even if it's part-time. There were so many questions about if he's part-time, how disruptive yeah. is that going to be? It was like he never left. So I got to bring in Bart Scott, mm -hmm. ESPN and New York radio host. He talks yeah. about this issue all the time on the radio. Yeah. What did you think about the comeback? I mean, I think he, you know, he was Uncle Drew yesterday. You talk about his ability to break down the defense mm -hmm. and get easy baskets. Those weren't half-court sets. He gets the ball in his hand. You know, he gets to his spot. He's one of the best finishers in the game. And when you look at, you know, what the importance of it is, I think that the reason that the Nets broke down was the fact that they have to get Kevin Durant and James Harden, who has broken down in their career. These aren't, you know, below 30 players. These are plus 30 players. They have to get rest on it. You know, they were working Kevin Durant far too much. Kyrie Irving allows you to be able to get a, a guy who can, you know, generate offense, get buckets, and also be able to facilitate for other people to give Kevin Durant and James Harden the much-needed rest that they need. So, Big Perk, yesterday when we were talking about this, you were still mentioning that you're kind of leaning towards the Bucks to come out of the East. Does this team, does that change at all with Irving coming back with what you saw last night? You know, I, I don't want to be disrespectful to the defending champs in the Milwaukee Bucks, so I still give, give them the slight edge. But I wouldn't be surprised. I told you this yesterday, Ryan. I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, ultimately, ultimately, it comes down to who? In my opinion, it comes down to James Harden. We know what Kyrie Irving could do in the postseason. We watched Kyrie Irving step up in the big moments. We already know two times final MVP and Kevin Durant, what he's going to bring to the table. The question mark is, what is James Harden going to do? What is James Harden going to do when they're at home without Kyrie Irving? He is the deciding factor on whether or not the Nets are going to come out of the Eastern Conference. Not Kyrie not Kevin Durant, is going to be James Harden, and is he going to elevate his game? Interesting. But so who you got yeah. coming out of the East? Man, I got the Nets. Come on, Perk. Hey, listen, you, you, listen like Kevin Durant had a smaller shoe. They would have won. He carried that team by itself. Now he's going to have backup. You know, and if, and if, and if we go into the postseason and James Harden's healthy, I think it's, it's not a contest. I think they take it in six. What, 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 but if if was a fifth, we'll all be drunk, okay? That's first thing first. But I wish it was. At the I, end wish, of the day, I wish it was, was a fifth. Uh, uh, but, but listen, one thing that we all, one thing that we all have to realize and one person that we all have to respect is Giannis Antetokounmpo, okay? And, and the way that he's been playing, a guy that is the most dominant player in today's game, and he has two other kind of partners too as well, and Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. So I can't just count out the Milwaukee Bucks like that. I won't disrespect them. We know the Nets have the firepower offensively. We know the Nets have Kevin Durant. 
But, man, I will never go against Giannis and just count him out after what he showed me last postseason. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.